Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and thanks for watching. If you're watching this on the day I recorded, just a, a brief reminder that it's Wednesday night during Lent, and we have our Wednesday night Lenten services. So at 6.15, we have our soup supper, and then at 7 o'clock, we have our, our short worship service I'm preaching tonight. And then looking ahead to this Sunday, this Sunday is uh, March 15th. It's our third Sunday in the season of Lent. And we hear the story, uh, which I think is a familiar story for many people, of Jesus and the Samaritan woman where Jesus comes and sits down at the well and, and asks uh, a woman as she comes up to draw water for him. And then that begins a conversation back and forth where there's this surprising openness of this woman to, to engage in this conversation, to, to at, pick up points and, and ask questions where perhaps others in the past have not. And it leads to not only her, but her entire town coming out to be around Jesus, and Jesus spends a couple days there, and at, by the end of the, of the time, the people are saying to the woman, well, we initially believed because you told us, but now we've experienced, and now we believe ourselves. And I think when we, when we approach the Samaritans, you know, they're, in that time they were the people who seemed like they were beyond, um, who were going to be the least receptive to um, to the good news. People who you don't think are going to hear, and yet sometimes they're the very ones who do. They're the ones who have lots of questions to ask. They're the ones who, who are more receptive sometimes than those who seem to think they know all the answers. And so again, this is a, a chance for us to reflect on the amazing things that God can do and the ways in which God's kingdom sp springs up in unexpected places. And then also, I just want to invite uh, everyone uh, who may need this. We are doing a, a grief support group uh, starting this uh, this Sunday at 12:15. We're providing lunch. Um, you know, no need to register or anything else like that. Just just be present. I know there's some people who uh, aren't going to be able to be there this time, but it, it is something we look at doing in the future. And so it's going to be a chance to to come together in our grief to walk together with one another, and to also share some ideas on how we move forward. So again, thank you for watching. Um, I invite you to join us for worship. Uh, we worship on Wednesday nights during Lent at 7 o'clock, and on uh, Sunday mornings with 8.30 with our traditional service, and 11 o'clock with our celebration service. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you at Rejoice.